Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Fiery Falcon Tarot. Uh, this reading is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. Uh, so take what does and leave what doesn't. <clears throat> it's been a little bit Pisces, but uh, we're going to knock out your reading today. So I hope you are ready for that. Um, we're going to be reading for you guys today. Um, with the Light Sears Tarot deck. I don't know why I'm a little stumped here. I'm going to clarify with the miniature deck, the wider rate tarot deck. We're going to pull you guys some oracle cards from the Moonology and from the Divine Abundance deck. We also have the Romance Angels. And we're also going to get some hidden truth. And we're going to pull some cards from my tarot deck. So let's get into this. Please give me clear and direct messages for Pisces for the month of February. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I hope you guys have been well. What do we have for Pisces? What do they need to know? Spirit, please and thank you. What do Pisces need to know? Thank you. Oh, we had these flipped over. Okay. Guess they want those out, so we'll take them. Alright. We have little baby plan. I know he's a Sag, so you could have Sag placements in your charts. You could be dealing with the Sag. Uh, ooh. Okay. So, Oracle cards didn't really want to go back in, so you guys could be dealing with some type of stagnation here, some type of stuck energy, unclear, not having clarity about a situation possibly for some of you guys. What do we have for Pisces? Some Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do they need to know? Okay, that one to flip over. At the bottom of the deck, it says a the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could have Capricorn placements in your chart. Take it how it resonates. If you're not sure, um, you guys can simply go online like Google and you can just get your birth chart if you're not certain on certain placements that you may have in your charts. All right, so let me tighten up my lava beads here, and we're going to get into it. Okay. All right. Love these pieces here. All right, so we're going to start with your um, monology card here. So it says emotions are running high in supermoon. All right, so that's kind of what I was feeling there when the cards wouldn't want to go, didn't want to go back into the deck easily. Uh, that you guys could be dealing with some type of stagnation. I'm sensing like a little bit of, uh, like a frustration on you guys' part. I don't know. It could be dealing with uh, work. It could be dealing with family. Uh, it could be dealing with friends. So take it how it resonates. Um, I do feel like the energy will clear out for you guys. I feel like. Um, like I was saying earlier, I feel like you guys, some of you guys may not have like clarity or may not be aware of what it is, like how you want to pers uh, pursue a situation or proceed with a situation. Take it how it resonates. All right. All right. From the uh, abundance deck, we have grounded. Many of the most evolved beings on earth are regular folks living with joy, dignity and courage. And we have the goat there. Alright, so some of you guys may be feeling like you're not as grounded as you would like to be or have been. Uh, I would just simply say take a spiritual bath. Uh, definitely meditate. Some of you guys may not have been meditating like you may have once was in the past. Um, <clears throat> again, I'm sensing like kind of a conflict here with two different birds. I'm, I'm also getting like the good angel, bad angel. So you guys could be wanting to take action on something here in a negative aspect there. If you guys can see the two birds here on around the goat there, one's on top of his head, which is green. 
which is like that grounded, stable, calm, serenity type of energy. And then the other one looks, uh, he's orange, but it kind of looks red. So you could be like possibly getting fired up about a situation here, becoming hot headed or feeling like that. Could have had an uh, argument or disagreement with somebody that could have set your emotions off. Um, is what I'm getting there with the emotions are running high there. So, you know, just keep calm as best as you can and just try to dissolve the situation. All right, we have your path. Dear Lord, help me trust that there's a plan far beyond what I can see through my fears and illusions. So maybe you guys are trying to take action towards something here or about something. And you could be like a little intimidated about, I don't know, I'm hearing repercussions. So you guys could be worried about what the outcome might be, how it could perceive you or make you look um, in public. Some of you guys could be like on the, um, on like a platform. If you're not on like a platform, then you could be like well known or popular. So by you doing a certain action or doing or wanting to go towards a certain thing, it could be frowned upon from family. You could be worried about like how people will perceive you because of a choice that you might want to make in your life. And you might be feeling like, um, I don't know, I'm kind of hearing shunned. So you guys might be feeling like, you know, it's not going to be approved. So maybe this is like with your parents or something like that. Maybe you feel like something's not going to be accepted. It's kind of what I'm getting here. We have letting go. Everything is indeed out of control and God will hold it all. I can safely let go. So again, that, that resonates back to this card here. Like, um, what I can see through my fears and illusions. So someone could be like, someone could be like projecting onto you as well too. Like saying like, if you, you know, if you leave this job or, you know, or if you take time off or you take a day off, or if you call out, you're going to be fired. Um, if you, if you go towards this person that we don't approve of, that we don't want you to be with, we're going to disown you. We're not going to support you. We're not going to be here for you. Um, it's, it could be a number of things, right? So whatever it is, I feel like someone is projecting onto you. And this is what's actually causing the fear here, causing you guys to be stagnated or like in, in an illusion. But that's not true because you, remember that your provider is your God, your ancestor, your angels. Like those are the ones that actually provide for you. So if you're feeling like you're going to lose, um, funding or, um, uh, support or whatever like that. Remember that we can, you can manifest whatever you want in your life, whatever your needs, wherever you're being met, wherever you feel like you're falling short at, you can always manifest that. And what, and what, okay. And then when one door closes for you guys, remember that God is the one that has the final say. Another door will gradually open up for you guys, but you have to have faith. You have to stand strong. You have to believe in yourself. You have to follow your own one path. All right. So it says your path. Okay. So don't let other, other people contradict what your path is or should be. Okay. You got to go about within, you got to go within with yourself and you got to do what's best for you, Pisces. All right. And, and God is wanting you to know that it's okay to let go of those bonds because essentially that's, that's an, that's a toxic trait to project negativity onto someone or to threaten someone that something is going to be less than or greater than or less than rather than greater than if you choose to go down a different path. At the end of the day, we have to live life for ourselves and we have to, you know, do what makes us happy. We can't be people pleasing, you know, because at the end of the day, your soul is never going to be rewarded. Your soul is never going to actually genuinely be happy with that because you're not doing it for you. You're doing it for others. Okay. All right, last card out, we have true offering. True offering takes what can be an unbearable cross and returns it to love. Exactly. So this is your spirit, guys. That's going to be offering that new door. It's going to be offering that new key. It's going to be offering that new home that's affordable in your price range. Offering you the job. Offering you stability. Offering you safe haven, safe coverage prosperity, abundance, health, wealth, all those wonderful things. Cause like I said, at the end of the day, like these people, these earthly people that aren't of the light, 
that are bitter, low vibrational. Yeah, look, eight of swords is the bottom of the deck. They want you to feel trapped. They want you to feel bonded. They want you to feel like you don't have another opportunity. You don't have another way. Like, that's bullshit. So, you know, six of cups. So it definitely could be someone from your past, someone that you have a long history with. So again, this could be like a mom, a significant other. I don't know. Maybe you're, yeah, Queen of Swords. Maybe you guys are trying to cut something loose, cut cut free from the situation. But I feel like you guys are being um, threatened and intimidated here. You know, okay. 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 All right, Pisces. I mean... We all got free will, so you guys can choose to do what you wish. I'm trying to be gentle here because I actually have the camera on the table. Um, I mentioned this in a couple other readings that I'm going to put it on another shelf so that way we don't have to worry about the the movement there. I uh, want y'all get motion sickness on me. <laughs> all right, Spirit. What in the shit is going on here for Pisces? Like, who is trying to control this Pisces? Who's trying to put pressure on this Pisces? Who is projecting on Pisces? And you guys, you know, you can always say, you know, return to center. Anybody that's, that is projecting on you, or maybe you're like, maybe say you had your mind made up, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you're just feeling like, yeah, Queen of Cups, Pisces. Um, maybe you guys are feeling like, you know, now you're having doubts with yourself when you were already set in your mind about what it is, what you was going to do. The path that you were going to go down, you know, your plan of action. And then all of a sudden you're like, you know, your scarce mind. Like, oh my God, I don't think I can go through with that. I don't think I can, whatever, whatever, whatever. That's somebody projecting onto you. So always say, please return to sender. 12, 12, 1 o'clock. What do we have for Pisces here? What in the shit is going on here? First card out. Yeah, the fool. Like, you guys want to take the leap of faith. You want to go towards something here. But you guys are holding on. You see her holding on to that stick? But she got her amethyst in her hand. And it's being charged up by the sun. So you guys could be dealing with the Leo or Aries. Don't necessarily have to be. You could have Leo or Aries placements in your chart. And it's like, come on, man. Like, this, the... Uh, the sun is a star, right? Without the sun, what can what can survive? Nothing can survive on this good green God given earth without the damn sun. You take the sun away, we all we all perish. And there will be no fruit, no, no food can grow, like nothing. The planet will be unstable. Look, the Queen of Cups came back out again. Come on, y'all. Like, hold on to what it is that you want to do. Follow your heart is what I'm hearing. There's the page of cups at the bottom of the deck here. You don't have to apologize to nobody for doing what it is that you want to do. Exactly. What did I say earlier? The magician manifestations. We can manifest whatever it is that we need to have in our lives. If we feel short in any kind of way. All you got to do is go to your ancestors, your spirit guides, God, Allah, Ra, Buddha, whatever it is y'all subscribe to, right? And you can welcome that energy, but you also have to be open and welcoming that energy in from the, from the higher source, right? What else do Pisces need to know? Don't self-sabotage a good thing, Pisces. If you want to do something, follow your heart. Whatever that is, okay? Queen of Wands, right? You stand out, you're abundant, or you can be, but you got to let go here on the Fool card. You got to take that leap of faith. Some of you guys could have a turtle as a pet. I don't know why I just seen this ledge and I see a damn turtle. <laughs> All right. Or maybe also you guys need to get around water too. Right, because water is very water is very healing. Some of you guys might need to drink more water because I'm seeing a whole lot of water in these three cards. Definitely get back into your um get back into your um 
I don't know. You need to do like some cleansing here of your chi is what I'm hearing. Your root chakra, your heart chakra. So again, a spiritual bath is very healthy, very soothing, very, very much regenerating. Also, you guys could need to do like some sunbathing because the sun gives you downloads. The sun is purity. It's, 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 it lights the whole world up, right? So in other words, the sun is basically like a big ass, um, solar panel, right? It recharges everything on the planet. It recharges, it recharges everything. It also empowers the, the earth, the ground. It nurtures it because without the sun, plants can't have photosynthesis, right? It can't reproduce. It can't breathe. It can't grow. So a lot of you guys might need to get into the sun as well. And look, all around this world, this woman known as Queen of Wands here is like bright, radiant light, which is coming from the, the, uh, the can't talk, coming from the damn sun. So some of y'all guys need to recharge. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is somebody that's empowering. She she knows she knows her light. She knows her worth. She knows her value. She goes, she sets forth on a on a mission. It's kind of like the King of Wands here. But it goes forward. They take a plan of action. Some of you guys could have a black cat, don't necessarily have to. Some of you guys could have short hair like the woman in the picture here. My candle is humming over here. You guys, again, could be wanting to go towards the Queen of Wands. This could be a same-sex relationship. So some of you guys might be wanting to come out the closet here, but you guys could be intimidated here about, about how you're going to be looked at, how you're going to be perceived. Like, because I'm just getting like, look at, he like thinking like, damn, I don't know if I could really do this, if I could really go through with it. What is people going to think about me? How are people going to feel about me? Will people still like me? Will people still respect me? Will people still see me? It's kind of like what I'm getting here. Um, for some of you guys, not for everybody, right? But take it how it resonates here. But again, without the sun, this, this plant can't grow. It can't produce what it needs to produce without the sun. But also, when we plant seeds, we have to what? Water it. We have to nourish it. Some people believe in talking to plants. Could be healing for you guys. Some of you guys could have plants around. And look at the light coming from his hand. Like, okay. Three of Swords. It could cause you some sadness, some grief to be able to have to like um, sever ties with individuals. Some of you guys could be going within. Again, the light. The light is around you. But for some of you guys, you're afraid to let the light in. But with the Three of Swords, I'm just getting the, um, yeah, like some of you guys. Now, this could be also verbal abuse here as well, too, I'm hearing. Maybe because you might have shared with your parents or a friend or whatever, whoever. It doesn't really matter what the negative entity is. Because all these damn cards out here is bright, loving energetic looking and then you got this so i'm getting like it's a debbie downer in the click or amongst you here that's going against like what you truly want how you truly feel about something here because this is what you really want to do you really want to move forward look another bright radiant card the chariot it's like you guys want to run to this or run towards something or run away from something here because you're unhappy, you're un you're discontent in your spirit. That's why. Your spirit has been introduced to something here. Yeah, a lot of you guys want to walk away or maybe you have walked away from a connection here. Again, because of projection. Anything else for Pisces? We're going to see about that Three of Swords. Yeah, the Two of Wands. Y'all clearly want to go down a new journey, a new path here. Right here, your path. A new path. She looking out that window like, oh, I wish I could just, I wish I could just get out there. I really wish I could just go see the world, go explore, go travel. Whatever the case may be for everybody's story is different. 
And what did I say? Well, I don't know if I said it earlier, but I, I was thinking the Two of Swords energy when those cards got stuck there. The Two of Swords. I kind of mentioned it when I was talking about the um the grounded there, about two different, um, you know, like the good devil, the good angel, the bad angel, whatever like that. You know how you guys see on some movies when you got like those little angels that are poof up on your shoulder or whatever like that. But yeah, y'all in the Two of Swords, indecisive energy. Don't be indecisive about your heart because, listen, time don't wait for nobody. Time passes us by in a blink of a goddamn eye. So if it's something that you want to do, you want to set forth on a path, on a, you know, go in a new direction here. If you are falling in love with somebody or have fallen in love with somebody, then that's just what it is, baby. Gentlemen. Ma'am, sir. <laughs> you just got to, yeah, go for a victory here. So, again, a lot of you guys could be in the public eye. A lot of you guys could be well-recognized here. And a lot of you guys are just wondering, like, how or how is this going to be perceived? Now, if it's not a relationship with you guys, maybe it's a job offering, right? Maybe, maybe you don't want to go to fucking college. Maybe you want to go take a job at Lowe's or something like that. I don't know. But whatever the circumstances is, because everybody's story, again, is different. You got to do what's best for you. And look, it's like on this two of wands here, we still have some of that toxicity here that's just lingering around, hovering around you in the room here. Same image, same thing in this imagery here. You guys are afraid to let go, break the ties, break the cycle, follow your heart, follow your dream, follow your passion. Right? All right. Is this Glorilla coming on here? It is Glorilla. So take Glorilla for a prime example. Had she not left her boyfriend and went down a new path, she wouldn't have went viral on TikTok. She wouldn't be where she at today. Had she would have stayed in that, that trap mental mentality, right? And she would have settled for less than what she knew she truly deserved. She knew she deserved better. And, yeah, it was probably definitely a tough decision for her to make. But at the end of the day, she made it. And she moved forward down a new path. And now she's a six of wands. She's victorious. She's known. She's being celebrated here. She stepped full blown into her queen of wands energy. I don't know what Glorilla's zodiac sign is, but I just looked up and she's on the... Um, She's on the TV right now. So I, that's why I'm using her as an example. And if those, so for those of you that may be watching this video and you may not know who Glorilla is, um, just, just think, um, so if you can't resonate with her and her story, then just think about somebody that wanted to, you know, be a famous actor, right? And something in them was calling them to go to, I don't know, New York or Atlanta or LA or wherever the case may be. A lot of popularity, right? A lot of notoriety. Notoriety. <laughs> I can't get it out. A lot of notori notoriety, right? Don't judge me. I can't tongue twisted, damn it. But they would have never got that reckon. They would have never been sought, right? Because they didn't seek out what they truly desired. So they would have never been discovered, basically, right? So, yeah, look, we got four cups here and the lovers. So, you guys might have um, might have experienced this individual that you might want to go towards. For those that, that, that is love and relationship related to, you experienced this energy. And, and be, you, okay, so we saw the magician card, right, that came out, which is all about manifestations. In the magician card, there's basically all four elements right earth wind fire water right everything that you need to bake all the ingredients you need to make a cake but if you have everything not blended and not mixed then you can't get a delicious moist cake right or say for instance a pizza you have the dough you have the sauce you you have a cheese you have an oven and a way to bake it but yet you got to what do you got to do to the dough, right? It's flour. It's just flour and water, right? But it has to be combined into the dough so that it can be baked. 
You have to. You need the sauce to put on top of it to dress it. You need the toppings. You need the cheese. And then the most important thing is the fire from the oven, right? So that that fire is like the passion within you, the burn, the urge. So it's like you guys manifested something here, because here it is. Spirit is bringing you that that cup of something, right? Whether it's a pizza, whether it's an acting career, whether it's a soulmate, whether it's a car, a house. Whatever, forever, for whoever is looking at it. Everybody's story is different. Whatever you pray for, manifest it, want it. I feel like they brought it in, right? Or they will bring it in. But again, here with the fool card, you got to be willing to, to go after it. You got to be willing to let go. You got to be willing to let go. And have your have the happiness here with the lovers. So whatever that happiness is for, for whoever's watching the video, whatever that is, right? Because you, you only get one life to live, and life is short. Time flies. Time doesn't wait for no one. I mean, where you got some people out here that do wait on it, but, you know, not for, evolve, or not for an evolved individual. They're not waiting. Not for no emperor, no empress. Knight of Pentacles. Something solid, sturdy, tangible. So I feel like this connection had the, the ability to move forward. But we saw the Eight of Cups too, right? So maybe someone walked away. Maybe say, someone gave up on it before it had enough time to actually fully come into full-blown tuition here. Maybe this is you holding it up here with the Knight of Pentacles here. Because the Knight, he, it's not moving. It's not budging. It, it's, it's got the offer there. It's like someone's, you know, like, hey, I'm, I'm here. You know, we could, we could build on this new land back here together, but hi, you know, it's like, look, he looking at the queen. Of, look at this. He looking at the queen of cups, like, but her eyes closed. She can't see it. She ain't looking at it. He's like. And you know, he's revealed his, his, I get a little closer for you guys. He's revealed himself. I feel like he was vulnerable. He showed, he or she doesn't, don't take, don't take, don't take the images too personal. But whatever it was, it will reveal itself to you. Or maybe for some of you guys, it has revealed itself to you. Right? Maybe somebody wanted to stay single here with the Nine of Pentacles. Maybe some wife might have been a little bit more secure in their foundation than the other person. And that could have intimidated somebody. But again, he, I'm just getting here like, because there's no house on this land. But the land looks like it's, it's sturdy. It could be built on. You can grow some crop here. The grass is green. It's not tainted. It's not black. And it looks like uh, and it's water there. There's water right in front of the horse, the hoofs. So again, this is almost like the magician card. There's everything here to bring something into fruition, to build on, to make it a stable foundation. What else for the Queen of Cups? But somebody just, they, they're being blinded again. The Two of Swords, blinded. Her eyes is closed on the Queen of Cups here. The Hierophant. So you could see... Uh, and then the Star card there. Wow, another symbolization of a wish. Well, I didn't say wish here on the Four of Cups, but with the offer that came in here from Spirit, from the Universe... Someone could also be feeling like it was a missed opportunity to have an opportunity with the lovers, right? Because the lovers is a choice. I don't know. Whoever this is resonating with, if it is an actual person, I feel like you just have to make a call, be the queen of cups here, be vulnerable, be open, maybe with the page of cups, have that conversation, maybe apologize. Maybe there was just a misunderstanding here, you know, or whatever it was. Like, I'm sorry, I was afraid. 
I, I really wasn't expecting this. I'm ready. I'm ready to step up. All right. What's behind the star? There's that hermit card again. Then there's that. And look at that. There's that queen of cups again. The star card is the second most powerful card in the deck, from my, from my opinion. The first most powerful card in the deck of tarot uh, would be the sun. Then the star. Then the emperor empress. For me, personally. But, uh, there was something here that had great potential here with the higher fund. And I feel like this was like the higher ups again. That's way too many cards. <laughs> but there's damn emperor though. I seen his ass. I need for this pile of cards here. Two of pentacles, six of swords, and knight of cups. Someone's juggling, going back and forth in their head. Like, I, I don't know if I can... And look, there's the Ace of Wands, the Page of Cups, the Six of Cups. We saw the Six of Cups already. Nine of Pentacles came back out. We're going to get another shuffle here. We're going to shake these up a little bit. So back to what I was saying here with the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and then now the Hierophant. I feel like this was a gift from the universe. And or also, this... This encounter or whatever it was for for you guys, it had the the capability of going the distance. The higher font is like like the highest education you can obtain, right? It's kind of like a doctorate's degree. Like I feel like I think the doctorate degree is like the highest the highest level of education that you can get in history, right? Is you know you go to high school, then you go to college, then you obtain a uh, a bachelor's, then a master's, then a doctor's, right? So it's like the highest level of schooling that you could possibly get for some, if you want to resonate resonate with it like that. So, but you have the higher font here with the queen of cups. I'm hearing Beyonce, love on top. Exactly. This is like the highest, the highest level. Knight of cups at the bottom of the deck. What's the page of cups here for Pisces? What's the what's the page of cups? And with the knight of pentacles there, like yeah, the knight it takes some time. But um <laughs> oh shit, I just threw it. Look, the devil's behind that. But the card that fell was the six of wands. I'm gonna get that for you guys in a second. But I wanted to show you guys the fool. He's back. The fool. We already saw the fool. The fool again. This one's looking like more promising. He's not holding on to anything. He doesn't have any attachments. So maybe somebody was afraid to let go of another relationship. Because again, the lovers is a choice. Or like their crutch hold or, or whatever it was. Like their, I feel like a sense of codependency here. Because in this fool card, again, we have a dark image there. We, we got... We got some cobwebs here if you want to look at it like that. But that is that is toxicity there. Right? And then look at the full card here. There is no darkness. What's there? The damn sun. What did I say earlier? About the damn sun. Alright, so on the page of cuts we have the sun card coming out here. Oh my god, and the will of fortune. Aries, Sagittarius energy there. But also with the Wheel of Fortune, I'm going to grab this card that fell for you guys, Pisces. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is also about divine timing. All right. So it's kind of like if you ever heard like your grandma say, God, don't make no mistakes. It's kind of like that. Six of Wands here. But then look, it's backed by the damn devil. But we have judgment here. Someone ain't really happy here. Maybe the universe is not really happy. God, Allah, whatever you guys subscribe to, right? Because deep down, you want to communicate with the damn empress. What did I say? What did I say? Wow. Wow. Okay, what's the queen of wands? 
for Pisces. What's the Queen of Wands? Four of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. I don't know how many of these are. We're probably not going to take it. There, there's that devil. Scaring you out of a new love opportunity. Or scaring you out of a new opportunity here. We have the Temperance. Sagittarius. And then we have Strength card. Leo Energy. Got to have the strength to move forward. There's that Two of Swords again. You got the Two of Swords right here at the bottom of the Light Series deck. Queen of Pentacles. So definitely could be uh, in a tower there. Okay. It's too many cards though. Give me two cards. Give me two cards please here for that Queen of Wands. <laughs> Queen of Wands. <laughs> Alright. What we got? Oh, it's four cards. They just... Someone someone has gained some type of clarity. The Ace of Swords is not here. But the higher font could also symbolize that that clarity, right? Because the Fool card is going towards this Queen of Cups, this higher font, this Knight of Pentacles. Fool card is facing that way. Someone definitely wants to leave a situation or remove themselves for not being happy. Or, like I said, someone could have encountered this energy and they and they left it. They left all that love. They just need to put their two cups in to have ten of cups. Created a burden for themselves. I feel like this is a mental burden here. Blo trying to do everything they can to block it out. To ignore it. But how can you ignore this beautiful empress? And there's the eight of wands. You want to communicate. You want to reach out. I'm hearing uh, Adele now. Hello. Queen of Wands. The World Card. Okay. <clears throat> What's the Three of Swords? Give me, give me, give me the Three of Swords here for Pisces. The Three of Wands. For some of you guys, it could be another another attachment there. We, we see that. We know that. The codependency here with the darkness on the full card here. With the lovers that clearly symbolize a damn choice. We we got it here with the your path. So, which means symbolizing letting go, right? Get grounded so you can get the clarity from your higher ups. And accept the true offering here. There's a true offering here. Whether that's with work, love, whatever. Again, everybody's story is different. But it's still, you sit in your bed, stressed out at night, wondering how how could I do this? How can I stay stuck here? Could be it's, someone could have some mental problems. I'm not saying maybe you Pisces, but if it is, I, I don't know. I don't know. Someone could though with the Nine of Swords. And look what's behind the nine of swords, the goddamn sun again. Well, not again. We saw the sun over here. And the fool car here. There's a sun. Happiness, prosperity, fresh flowers, fresh food. Clarity. Enlightenment. Healing. Right? Right? You just got to be brave enough to cut out and cut through the clouds, right? When it's real foggy out, you can't really see that road. You can't really see that clear path. So you got you to gotta cut that out. Soar it up, yes. Soar it down, no. And we got the hermit card there. Going deep within. Oh, here's the ace of swords to gain that clarity. Behind that is the damn Queen of Wands again. <laughs> Come on, Pisces. Come on, Pisces. Now I'm hearing a uh, water boy. You can do it. Okay, sun goes there. Nine of Swords on top of the sun. Okay. All right. What else is here for this Three of Swords, the Three of Wands? Wanting to take action here. Look. There's that Nine of Cups. Might get a little closer here, Pisces. Cross Watcher for the Pisces. You can do it. We got the King of Pentacles here. 
So the Queen of Pentacles showed up a little while ago here. So someone could be in a marriage. Could be a common law marriage. If you're not physically married with somebody. Because the King of Pentacles is typically a married man. And if it's not that, then the King of Pentacles is saying here, when you three of wands this shit, Queen of Swords this shit, and take that new path here, it is going to produce abundance for you. Spirit is going to reward you for being brave, noble, honor, dignity, courage, strength, endurance, endurance. We saw that strength card that came out earlier in the little cluster of cards here. It takes strength to walk away from something. I think I was speaking about it earlier here. That maybe some people may be feeling like codependent here. Oh, I can't. Or or, or that projection energy. Excuse me. Oh, well, if you leave, I'm going to take the car. Oh, if you leave, uh, you're going to have to find another house. And you're going to have to pay for that shit on your own. 40-40 was on the clock when I looked up. Whatever, Whatever the scenario is, right? Whatever, you're going to, you have to get a job if, if you divorce me. You're going to have to go back to work. I'm not covering whatever, whatever, whatever. Nine of Swords. But somebody really wants this Nine of Cups. Really wants it. Give me the chariot. Remember, when one door closes, another door will open up for you. Keep your faith. Stay true to yourself. God will reward you. If you're in a toxic marriage, toxic home, toxic environment, whatever it is, God's going to give you the strength. <laughs> I was about to say the strength. And there's the damn strength. Just open up that door and roar. All right? You release the beast. We got the day going Virgo, uh, Virgo. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Virgo. Don't necessarily have to be. You could have Virgo placements. Something could have significantly happened last year in Virgo season. Something could be coming up this year in Virgo season. Take it how it resonates. But go within. Get the truth and the clarity about the situation that you're dealing with. And move forward. Chariot. And look, he got his damn eyes closed. Open your eyes, Pisces. Look at what's right in front of you. The angels, the wings, the light. <laughs> now I'm hearing, uh, some of you guys might have seen the movie Poltergeist. Uh, so the very, very original one is my absolute all-time favorite. But it's like they were telling her to go into the light. Carolyn! 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 Somebody's name could be Carolyn. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. What's behind? There's that damn ten of cups. You got to be strong and go for it, baby. Oh, I'm fired up. I'm fired up. Oh, I'm fired up. All right, what else on the chariot here in the hermit for Pisces? Is it going to be movement? Oh, 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 Lord. Okay, hold on. That's way too many. But we're going to take a looky. Maybe Knight of Swords. Bam. Queen of Wands is back. Bam. I feel like uh what's his name? The chef. Uh Emerald. There's that magician. Bam. We spoke about it earlier. Got all the elements. Put it in this cup. Shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it. And poof. Here it is. Knight of Wands taking action. Moving. Page of Pentacles. Okay, Pisces. So it looks like some of you guys may get the strength. Last but not least, we have the Two of Wands here. It's like that. It's like that. Um, was it whoever was the bubble? The bubble story. The kid in the bubble. The movie. The boy in the bubble. Mom convinced him and told him he was sick, that if he went outside, he was going to get sicker. All these bad things were going to happen to him. Four, 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 four on the clock. There the mom right here in the background, the toxic brainwashing. Oh, if I could just go out and play. 
if I could just go kick ball, if I could just go exploring, if I could just go smell the fresh air. Mama said you can't, you can't do that. You can't do that, Johnny. Found out nothing was never wrong with the damn boy. The boy was fine. <laughs> Two of swords. Oh, Lord, no. Fix it. Two of swords. Two of wands. Some of you guys could be seeing two, two, two. Or 22. What else on this two of wands? Got the two of swords here. Yeah, two, two, two. So some of you guys could be seeing two, two, two. Look that angel number up. If you see it, then we're going to take it. Ace of wands. The new passion starts. Somebody might move. God damn it. They might move. We got the sun here. Oh shit, the Queen of Swords done jumped out. But we back to the Two of Pentacles here. So some of y'all could be seeing two, 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 two. Alright, I don't. Whew. Let's see. Got Two of Wands, Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles. What's behind. I'll put it up here so y'all can see it with me. What's behind the Ace of Wands? Woo! Nine of Pentacles. Somebody might break free from this. Seven of Swords. Might be planning an escape. Justice. Okay. I like that. Uh, Seven of Cups. Yeah, because somebody might be a little nervous now that they might have took a little while to do this. So they might be thinking that someone else now has, you know, options. Listen, baby, that's 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 a risk that I'm worth I'm willing to take any damn day. Gotta break free from this Pisces. I like it. I like it. For some of you guys, you're gonna hear from your person. Uh, some of you, you may not. So if you're if you're anticipating on that, I don't encourage or endorse anybody waiting along, waiting around. Uh, continue about your life. Cause time don't wait for nobody, right? Let's pull a little bit from my deck here. We got uh oh Gemini. Is that Gemini? Yeah, Gemini at the bottom of the deck. So somebody could be dealing with the Gemini. You could have Gemini placements. Something could be transpiring in Gemini season here. Uh so what's that like two months? We got Pisces season about to come up. Uh yeah, we got Aries, Pisces. Yeah, so we got like three months, I want to say, roughly, for Gemini season. So, uh, yeah, we, we'll see here. We, we shall see. But that, that could be significant. All right, let's see. What do we got for Pisces here? Oh, uh, let's see. What we got on the board here, we got a lot of fire. We got... Aries, Aries, Sag, Aries, Leo, we have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Cancer, uh, and we do have a little bit of air here, Two of Swords, a lot, a lot of air actually, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini is here on the board, so there's a lot of air here. Um, what else we got here? I said cancer. I think I said cancer. Um, yeah. So that's what we have here. And we got Pisces too with the Queen of Cups that showed showed up here as well too. So, all right. Let's see. Any messages here for Pisces before we close this on out? Any last messages for Pisces? It really could be anybody though, guys. It could be anybody. All right. But that's just... I really have, um, oh, we do have a Gemini here with the lovers, too. So, a Gemini is significant for some of you guys, not everybody. Uh, we got big truth coming out. Someone's getting getting some clarity here. That's like my Ace of Swords there in my deck. We got text mail. So, you could be getting a text messages here. Somebody could be wanting to send a text message. Oh, Lord, okay. Okay. Uh, we have Capri. That's Capricorn. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn or could just could have Capricorn placements. What else we got? I do care. Uh, we know. We got war. 
So someone's at war with themselves. I feel like that's that men that mental shit there. Going back and forth with that two of swords, two of pentacles, two of wands, tree stomp, creating a blockage here. I lie. So somebody might not have been fully truthful here. We got breakup. All right. Oh Lord, we got I'm cheating. Oh, uh oh. All right, let's pull some here from the Romance Angels. I don't know. Maybe, maybe this Pisces found out somebody might have been cheating on them, or maybe the Pisces cheating. I don't know. Uh oh. I don't know, guys, but my one of my main deal breakers is is cheating and and uh, physical altercations, even verbal. I I can't do any of that, any of that stuff there. So if you if you fuck somebody else, or if you you know you you talking crazy to me, and and damn sure if you putting your hands on me, I I can't no. Got to go. You got to go. What else? You, you spend too much on makeup and we sure on a light bill. We we could we could, we can manifest that. Where my magician go? We we can manifest from the law some more money, but you, you know anything else? I can't get can't rock with that. Anything else here for Pisces? Codependency. What did I say? All right, addictions are affecting your romantic love life, right? So this could be any kind of addiction. This could be drug, alcohol, sex, uh, a, a bad parent here that don't want to see you happy, uh, friends that, oh, why would you want to do that? What would you do that for? We got honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. See, this is what you want. This is what you want. And that landed on big truth. Uh, we got chemistry. No doubt about it. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. No doubt about it. Soulmate. Yes. This is your soulmate. Right? So if you guys had an encounter with this individual already, it, it, it felt the way that it felt because this. This is your soulmate. All right? We have let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So this could be like what I was just saying. Like those those parents that's trying to dictate what you should do and what you shouldn't do. We have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Yeah. You got to block out that shit because remember, uh, everybody ain't happy for you. Everybody don't... Nobody... <sighs> Not nobody, but certain individuals don't want to see you happy because they don't have it in their lives. So keep keep that in mind. We have new love. A new person has stared your romantic feelings. Yes, yes, and yes. All right? We see it right here with the damn Ace of Wands. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles behind that. Somebody that's sturdy. Uh, the Stable. All right, all right. So this is the hidden truth oracle deck. Let's see what we got from here. Um, let's see. This was the longest reading thus far. I'm, I'm gonna. Um, I wanted to read. So I gotta do my fire signs next. Leo, Aries, Sag. Guess I'll knock those out tomorrow because I didn't plan on being an hour here for Pisces. Damn it. Pisces need to hear this shit. Remember, this could resonate in any kind of way. For some of y'all, it is a relationship. For some of y'all, it's about something else. I am waiting patiently. The fuck you waiting on? I don't know what comes next at the bottom of the deck. What comes next is... Oh, man. I'm seeing the, the movie, the scene from Waiting to Exhale. When she said, 
Get your shit. Get your shit. And get out. And then she lit, burnt, that, burnt that shit up. Now, I'm not condoning nobody setting no cars and clothes on fire, but I'm just saying. It's time to get your shit and get out. Your intellect arouses me. So, see, it sounds like a two of cups to me. Alright, someone that you can have communication with in a mature mannerism. Someone that you mesh with, you vibe with. It's like you two just get each other. And that's because it's a soulmate. Oh, okay. I find you so attractive. Okay. We can't make this up. The energy is here heavy. Heavy. I want to start over. Okay. So, this could go any kind of way. This could be like... Um... Somebody might be trying to suck somebody back in or something like that. I wish we could go back. Mm -mm. Ain't shit back there. But misery, despair, codependency, toxicity, controlling, manipulation, ungroundedness. It's not a true offering. It's not your path. You need to let it go. We saw that already. I want you back. Okay, so this is for you guys that did encounter that individual, that energy, and now that you don't, they don't have it, um, they are, um, so that could be a form of codependency too, like, feeling like they can't go on in a sense, right? I don't really want to say that really, but kind of along those lines, like, um, so basically like if you did experience this healthy stuff, then, you know, they want to reconcile basically. And for some of you, this could be that, that unhealthy energy that wants to reconcile. So if you like moved out of your parents' house and was like, I'll find my own way. I'll make my own ends and you know, yada, yada, yada. They want you to come back home. Some of you could feel like you let them down or someone might feel like this about you. Take it how it resonates. And we have here, I watch your social media. Uh, but yeah, so damn, Pisces. This was long-winded, very informative. Um, you know, I'm rooting for you guys. Of course, I root for all my signs, you know. That's why I do this. This is why I, I enjoy this, to bring... Can y'all hear my candle? It's been humming like the whole, the whole read. That's my abundance candle that I have burning in the background. It's a beautiful candle, um, made from someone that's very uh, creative, very uh, hardworking. Uh, so you could, guys can visit Dream. Tarotstore.com. Um, you can get one or one for yourself. There's a host of other beautiful, elegant candles on there. Uh, jewelry. Um, if you need to take a spiritual bath, there are spiritual bath. Um, no, I'm not being paid to you know put that out there. But the, the lovely products, lovely products for you guys to choose from. Um, like I said, from candles, from jewels to all, all types of goodies. So please uh, feel free to go go to that store, Dream Tarot Store. All right, and you guys can order some wonderful things on there. Um, if you don't have a Valentine's Day, then you can gift yourself a beautiful Valentine Day kit. Um, yeah, just a lot. There's a lot of beautiful things over there. So please visit uh, Dream Tarot Store. But uh, anyway, Pisces, you can do it. I believe in you guys. Um, keep your head up. Stay positive. Don't be afraid to um, let go. Okay? Uh, God believes in you. I believe in you. Uh, you should definitely believe in yourself. Okay? You got to, with the strength card that came out, you guys got to stay uh, strong and true to yourself. It's time to take the journey down that new path. Regain your clarity. Regain your groundedness. 
um, because there is going to be a tr there is a true offer and it's waiting for you guys. Okay, um, but it's up to you. Only you can do what you could do for you. Okay, uh, one minute on the or one hour on the clock. Eleven. I just seen one. Uh, well, whatever. Eleven. I can't even talk. Um, there is a passionate new beginning here with the Ace of Wands. Um, honeymoon. Lots of attractiveness. Lots of lots of lots of good stuff waiting for you guys okay but that's what i have for you guys if this resonated with you in any kind of way be sure to rock the like video for me or like video like button down the bottom for me guys um if you haven't subscribed to the channel please feel free to do so uh if you need anything else from me like a personal reading i don't actually sell any any goodies yet other than my fiery falcon tarot deck um Look down in the description box down below. If you want to follow me on social media, the handle is Fiery Falcon Tarot on Instagram and TikTok. Um, I haven't been ticking talking like that, but I'm going to get into the habit of starting to get back TikToking. Um, I think I posted like probably three things on there or whatever like that. But um, yeah, but you could definitely follow me. I appreciate that. Um, again, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And best of luck with you guys. Uh, please interact with me on the channel. Uh, leave a comment down below if you, um, again, if any of this resonated for you whatsoever, um, please do so. Um, by liking the video and, and commenting down below allows me to pick up on your energy for future reasons. But that's what I have for you guys. Pisces, it's been a wonderful, I had a wonderful time doing this reading. Um, you know, I'm praying for you guys that you guys, um, you know, pull through, for, pull through this and uh, see you on the other side. Take care.